welcome back to another video. As you can kind of tell by the weirdly odd thing, weirdly odd CGI, oh, it's actually not even action, but it's Waxing's version, developed by Union Bond, version of the mummy with a flashing tail screen and bad versions of the actual actors. Oh yeah, it just gets worse. So yeah, we got this loading screen with, again, stuff from the actual movie. And we begin out with stilts from the actual movie, now just being in black and yellow. And yeah, they're terrible. Also, the, the tile box on below just keeps on changing colors. And then there's this particularly horrible one. And then we finally get to the actual cutscene where we have it. More annoying walking things. And the music is from The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Yeah, that's great waxing. Let's pick up a little bit because you probably already know it. And how you do enemy encounters is also pretty strange. You have to walk up to an enemy, to a person that's not walking is walking, and then, yeah, so just get ready for all the ram and encounters to be incredibly strange as usual. But yeah, we got ghosts, white horses, yeah, just an assortment of strange and random things. We also began with four people. This raindrop and like thing. Oh yeah, no potions yet. So yeah, just weirdly designed NPCs. I hope you like that. Let's buy some potions. Let's see, so yeah, weird menu design. Currently we are all at level 6 of the 1, so let's see. Yep, up to date. And now time for some more grinding to actually get up to a hundred. So yeah, there's even stranger enemies like football players. Yeah, have you ever wondered a game where apparently you thought it would be a good idea to include Football players as enemies in supposedly 1920s. Yeah, I know football existed, but that's not the same design as they had in the 1920s. Also, why would they be in Egypt? <laughs> oh yeah, all the enemies in the game makes no sense. And it crashed. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's how far I managed to get. Yeah, 
Yes, now we got these weird tangled up worm thingies. See, what basically happens is like the movie, you have to go on the ship, you attack, you actually get attacked by your first boss, and by the first boss, and yeah, that's about it. And we get on to this section. Also, the random sound effects. Strange enemy designs, indeed. I should probably show you off the stats. I managed to get up to level 17 and 18 for the other one. But now in the world this thing is, I do not like it. Yes, there's some stuff from some other games, and we also got cats. Cats as enemies. I don't know what that thing is, I think it's a frog. I should probably defeat all the enemies in the area first. We got even stranger enemy designs. Cats. Like, why is this game always so terrible with their enemy design? Or the Union Bunch are just gone for better design. And the graphics, they're mediocre ish for being a game. I'm not sure what that is, but okay. And the game just keeps on slowing down every single time. Also, there's no final boss this game, it's just a more random enemy encounters towards the end, so that's a nice job, Union Bond, or production, whatever, whatever you like to call it. village they also have random encounters. And we 
got cactuses now. That's great. And also the rocks are from yet even more Union Bond games, like Da Hai Sayu or the Chinese Aussie. Oh yeah, and also we got chocobos in this game for some odd reason. Green, well actually they're, they're multiple different color palettes, but also this is the undersea area. Yes, you can walk on water. So yeah, nice idea. Nice idea, you to have chocobos in a game that does not have chocobos, or a movie that does not have chocobos. Yeah, it's already getting weirder. May as well save. Also, this game requires you to have a lot of grinding for some odd reason. Which is what Union Bond does not traditionally do, but this is after their post independency. That little sound effect. Also, the RPG, RPGs I kinda use exactly the same system are... Th so there's one that's called The Curse of King Tut's Tomb, and then there's another one that may be a backport of a PC game. Okay, well that was nothing. Okay, well that was nothing. Let's see what new armor do we can we get? 6, 8, 11, 13, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Yep, we just need a lot more grinding. Uh, great, and it start, starts launching out of nowhere. Nice little design, Union Bond. Did 
did it have to crash again? It just did. So yeah, you did Bond's really weird idea of turning the mummy into a... Oh uh, yeah, that's clever, you did Bond just to block enemies with the same path. She really did do scan hard. Chocobo. That's great, so they reused stuff from Final Fantasy 3. No way, I believe it was two. Great stuff, <laughs> Union Bond. And another maze area with more enemies. Other graphical glitches. Okay, well I can't go down there yet. There's like a sign in every single corner telling you what it is. Let's see how much money do I have. much money to buy anything actually. Well thankfully we got random encounters in the village. Well that's great, now we're up in the 2000s. So yeah, all the, so basically all the special things are the same. There's one attack, and all the other two are HP healers, which are, you, but to be honest, useless, because you can just buy potions easily. Got a cat enemy basically walking backwards, so that's great. Okay, that one just died easily. Nice, only 
gave me five coins. Does that give me it? Wait, I'll see if any more random encounters in the area. Random encounters, 300. Droplet thingy. Experience points and coins, so yeah, the number of coins that they give you is also the number of experience points you get. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. Basically got two random encounters blocking a dead end. That was basically nothing. So that was incredibly useless. I can encounter with yet another random encounter. Great. That thing just keeps on infinitely spawning, so yeah, it could be technically one of those glitch thingies, but probably a glitch. Oh, 
most of my journeys. Weird tree-ish thingies coming out. They look like animals for some reason. Why is the thing just standing there and not moving around weirdly, like all the others are? Defeating the Chocobo, even though basically it has nothing to do with Chocobo, it's just even more random encounters. There's like two ways. And we got an enemy at the end of this corridor. There's just an enemy at the corner. Okay, so now he's we're now just using random different things. So yeah, as for the character designs, they're kind of close to the original. And by kind is that they don't even look like the characters from the actual movie at all. They have random different skin color that does not match with the original. But I mean that's Famicom for you. Random color palettes. Basically protecting nothing. So yeah, so each character has a random different ability to do something, I guess. And then there's this final enemy over here and just in this corner. After that, the entire maze is completely empty and you have to go through it all over again. So even more grinding. Music is okay, it's just again reused from Legend of Zelda. A link to the past. Let's see what this game thing has. Oh yeah, so apparently they have to choose a spider or the cat. So basically the one right next to it is again your specials. 
weaponry for some odd reason, the other, and the other outside of that is running. But in that case, the enemies won't disappear, they just still appear all over again. So that's great. Union Bond. to 120. Speaking up because, as usual, it's another long time just to get up to 90, 99. Or can I continue on infinitely by these? Let's see, so can I? This may actually take a while, so yeah. At least waxing tried. Um, okay, let's see. It's taking a while. Maybe I can get up to 999 with this. Wait, do I already have enough? Yeah, I can still do more. That's better music. 
Let's so see what's the maximum potion thing it is. It's really 999. Hey, here's some music. I'm probably bad timing. So yeah, this is gonna take about probably about half the video. Any other thing that you use different religion as Zelda? A link to the past. This madness. Outside of that, it just seems like a game with enough potion limits. That's great. So you can buy you can buy 999 potions in this game. Wow, you think that would ever be happen? You need bond? Well, guess what? I just did.
I, I like that whenever you're choosing the game, you just like to go ahead and slow down. Essentially, frost marker, but basically, you don't have boots on for some odd reason. Or, apparently, the Bond tried to make an underwater area, but then they failed, so instead, they took trees from Final Fantasy and thought it would be good for glory. Or islands, maybe this is supposed to be islands, I'm not sure. Either it's coral or it's islands. Either way, they very well, they very much messed up. Anyway, that was about a little technique for the mummy. Not exactly a good game, but also here is some music. So you enjoy listening to this.
And if you're wondering, the, um, code for this is ES, that's waxing. 1, 11, 11, 0, 9, and the Chinese name is called Chin Guo Chin Guo. Or the mummy, that's called in English. But anyway, guys, that was about it. A uh, shorter video than the last one, but I mean, hey, you guys really like that, so... Hope you like this. Weird concepts, but strangely good. Bye!